Hello, Dr. Choate. Thank you for Hi. taking the time today to meet with us. Gina, a pleasure. So I'm wondering if you can tell me a bit about the profession of social work. What are areas you can work in? Well, I think one of the most exciting things about social work is the breadth of what we do. So we work from uh, everything from addictions, mental health, interpersonal violence, criminal justice, child intervention, health services, uh, frontline uh, street work with the homeless population. Uh, we work in hospitals. We work in group homes. We work in um, prisons. We work, I, I mean, the, the work is absolutely an incredible breadth of opportunity. So a student who says, gosh, I have a real interest in such and such a population is going to find a place to, uh, through our program, to be engaged with that population. Thank you. I know one great thing about when I became a social worker, I was a lot younger. And I really, at that time, wanted to work with teenagers. And I started working my career with teenagers. And it was able to evolve over time where when I became a mom, I actually did some work with families. And so I like that you talk about how it's from birth till death. Mm -hmm. And we get the opportunity to work in all of these different sectors and areas of interest. I think one of the other things that we get to really do, which is important, is we work in the area of decolonization. And um, uh, thus, for example, we get to work with First Nations. Uh, and it's not we work with First Nations. It is that we work alongside First Nations. So uh, the Indigenous communities of Canada who have experienced substantial histories of colonization and cultural genocide uh, are places where social work has long been present. We're rebuilding and rethinking our relationship with the Indigenous people of Canada, and our students get to be part of that conversation. That's wonderful. I heard in our, in our diploma and our degree, we offer specific courses on Indigenous populations. This is true. So all of our students will be taking a course on Indigenous social work. But the other piece is that Indigenous social work, Indigenous issues, are woven throughout the program. And so, for example, we'll have a course on social work with families that will include working with Indigenous families. Our program is part of the university's commitment towards decolonization. And it's a bit of a journey for our, us to get there. But you will, if you join our program, be able to walk part of that journey with us. Yeah, it sounds really great. And Peter, what are some unique things about the programs, both the diploma, the third year entry, and the BSW at Mount Royal? So um, I think we do a number of things very, very well. And I know that's kind of boasting, but I think we do. We have tremendous relationships with a number of agencies throughout the community, which means that the practicums allow students to really get out into the uh, into the real world of social work and be able to transfer their skills uh, and be able to see how it works. The other thing is we're building more and more pathways to simulation. That's the pathway of trying it out in real life situations uh, with simulation actors and actresses so that we are able to say this is what it really means to be able to take that skill into the workplace. Uh, so, for example, in one of our courses, uh, we do a simulation of a social worker knocking on the door of a mom's home saying, we uh, had to take your child into care this morning. And what's that like and how to work through it? Those are some of the real uh, practice things. I think the other piece that goes with us, every one of our instructors, every faculty member that our students are going to meet have been and are engaged in real everyday practice. We're all people who've come to this uh, to the teaching profession from practicing social work. And we continue to have our feet in practicing social work. So you've got practitioners. Have I said practicing enough? But you've got practitioners in the classroom with you talking about how do you do practice. I love that. And I love that you talked about practicum. So I and I know that in the diploma, students get 700 hours of practicum experience. And in the degree, they get over 700 hours of practicum experience. Yes. 
think of this in a couple of different ways. You get to try out. You say, I think I want to work in this particular sector. You get to go into a practicum and try out. Sometimes you come back out of that practicum and go, no, I was wrong. I don't want to be in that sector. And sometimes you go into a practicum in a sector you didn't think you wanted to be in and come back out and say, that's where I belong. But it really is the opportunity, the, the true opportunity to be in the world with the clients and the client's experiences and the, and the way agencies work in, in, in different populations. You get to try it out. You get to see what it's like. You get, in other words, 700 hours of real world experience while you're getting your diploma and your degree. Which is remarkable because it's essentially building your resume while getting the opportunity to learn and well, learn and I, more skills. Yeah. And you and I both know the number of students who end up work getting jobs in the agencies that they've had practicums within. Absolutely. So, Peter, what if I was a diploma student? I just wanted to do two years and then maybe take a year off. Do you think that that's a good decision? Do you think that that's okay? I think that's a brilliant decision. Uh, you know, I want applicants to think about with a diploma, there are many, many agencies and work situations that are very keen frontline. So I can think of all kinds of frontline opportunities with, with shelters, with uh, boys and girls programming, with seniors programming. I mean, there are just so many population areas that you can work with. You can become a registered social worker in the province of Alberta with a diploma program. Um, so the idea that the diploma program is, is not going to give you the opportunity to practice is just wrong. Uh, and then you can go out for a year or two and say, I really now want to come back and do that bachelor's of social work and do the third year entry because now I've got a real sense of where my place is in the profession. I've got a sense of the kinds of things that I want to do. And now I'm ready to come back and do that other education. Wonderful. I agree. I think that that's a great pathway for students that they get to learn. They get to take some time off, practice those skills. But what's the advantage of doing a four-year BSW? What, what, what's the difference? What's a four-year versus a two-year? So the four-year BSW is preparing you for uh, some more advanced practice areas. So, for example, um, we think of, of working with Alberta Health Services in, in inpatient and outpatient programming. Uh, uh, is, that's just one example. But it is uh, designed to give you a more enhanced uh, uh, practice to practice readiness. It's uh, designed to give you more in-depth theoretical understanding. We'll spend more time looking, for example, at research issues. We'll be spending more time looking at complex case management and complex clinical decisions. But the other thing I want people to remember is this program also offers students, both the diploma and the BSW, offer students the opportunity for not just clinical practice, but also to work in social policy and community development. So the, think of the, uh, of the opportunity in, this, in, in these programs for well-rounded opportunity to well-rounded development to be able to step into a number of ways in which social work intersects with the communities around the country, around Alberta, across, across Calgary. Wonderful. And our BSW program is um, students can apply to, I think it's 13 master programs as well, if they want to further that education and become leaders in both clinical and community practice. You know, I think you raise a really fascinating point, Gina. So we think of diploma as a way into the profession. And for, for lots of people, the diploma brings them into the portion of the profession that they want to be in. And they're, they're really happy there. Then we have some students who want the more advanced credential of the Bachelor of Social Work because they want to do some of the more advanced work in the front line uh, or in clinical settings or in community settings. Then there are those who might want to go on to, uh, to positions of leadership in organizations or positions of um, uh, you know, private practice therapeutic opportunities or uh, other more advanced uh, enhanced uh, clinical experiences or program and policy experiences. And that's where the Masters of Social Work comes in. Our program, our Bachelor of Social Work program, prepares students significantly well for application to those Masters of Social Work problems, uh, programs across Canada, some of which are in person and some of which are online. 
Yeah, and I think it's it's important to note that our our Bachelor of Social Work has two concentrations. So you can pick mm -hmm. the generalist concentration or the child intervention concentration, as well as you can pick minors in Indigenous studies yep. and gender. So so it really does provide that interest focus that students might have as well. Mount Royal University has structured and, and our program has structured the social work experience to allow students to get focused social work education, but at the same time to have parallel opportunities through general education, through Indigenous studies and the like, where you can say, look, I have a real interest in a particular area and here are opportunities for you to be able to take parallel courses that will enhance your social work education. We believe strongly in the idea that social workers should have a broad sense of what it means to be in community. And that means not just social work education, but also the opportunity for other exposures to other ways of thinking, other ways of knowing. These are important. We believe strongly in that. And as a result, our graduates are really, really well thought of in the community. Absolutely. We always get calls for our grads for employment and all the things. I want to thank you, Peter, for your time, for helping educate our potential students that we hope to see in our program one day in the future. And if there's any other questions, please reach out to uh, Dr. Peter Choate, who is the um, program coordinator, or myself, Gina Adams. I'm the coordinator of practicum and advising.